Hello traders and welcome to another edition of what's moving in the Forex market brought to you by myself Kurt Capra and pristine trading as always please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice okay let's take a look at what's going on as always starting in the upper left with euro US dollar we can see that the daily chart here has been largely sideways over the last little bit of time we've been in quite a, a volatile range here as prices are just trading up and down over the last several weeks at this point in time it does appear as though euro US dollar does want to continue trying to make a move back up towards these prior highs around 1.0988 now if we look at the weekly time frame what we see is obviously a very powerful downtrend in place but we have started to see some greater stabilization in comparison to what's taken place in the past right every time there has been a retest of a prior low prior to this most recent retest it really has not held in in fact we've continued to see lower lows being made so this is a bit of a change and one that we do want to be aware of this could lead to a bit more of a, of a retracement but overall this euro us dollar pair remains in a downtrend and for that reason we want to be more bearish than bullish but in the short term right now as i said we're just trading range bound and uh if anything we're just looking to play between the top and the bottom of that range shifting gears over to the center top chart aussie us dollar we can once again see this pair is also going sideways and slowly trying to grind its way back up towards the upper part of its range looking at the weekly time frame of Aussie US dollar what we see is again a pretty steady downtrend in place here we are getting a bit uh, of stabilization and trying to carve out a bit of a bottom here so we'll see if this doesn't result in a bit more of a retracement which the daily chart is also indicating but time will tell uh, as far as the daily goes there really is no compelling pattern being suggested as far as a multi-day a decisive multi-day move one way or the other so really if if looking to do anything on this pair it would be from an intraday perspective only in the upper right we have new zealand dollar us dollar and this is slowly trying to grind its way higher you can see uh, higher highs and higher lows being made we're slowly working higher we did uh, have a little bit of a double top up here at the high last week where where we tried to move higher it failed it's come back down into some minor support and it's now trying to stabilize and push higher now if we look at the weekly once again it has been in a downtrend and it's rallied up into resistance so uh, there is definitely reason for it to struggle in its in its upside move in the attempted move up that we're seeing on the daily chart so uh, as I go back to the daily chart here it makes complete sense to, to see this kind of grind higher as opposed to a fluid move to the upside so uh, you know if you're looking to be bullish on New Zealand dollar US dollar you have to do it with caution because we are as I just showed you into resistance and in a daily uh, weekly downtrend so caution to the upside but at the same time there's not a clear path lower either uh, and so once again this is another pair that could be experiencing some very choppy behavior even in the coming days and therefore intraday plays on on just taking advantage of the short-term trend would be the better idea bottom right chart we have US dollar yen and uh, again we see a sideways range but this one is weak right as opposed to some of the others we've seen that um, are, are trying to actually grind their way a bit higher this one has been a bit weaker we can see these lows are relatively equal 
They're relatively close to one another. However, at the same time, we can see that we've got some lower highs forming, which tells us that volatility is contracting, and this may be getting close to a point where it's going to break down. What we're going to want to do is look at the weekly chart, though, to see what that's telling us. And when we do that, you know, the weekly chart is overall in an uptrend, but it has started to level off. We've seen a pullback here, green bar having no follow through. And last week we had a topping tail finish out the week. Now this topping tail was a green bar prior to completion. So the fact that it ended as a topping tail does indicate that additional supply came in. So uh, we'll see if we can break down under this range. If, if we can, if we do get a break under the range, there's a little bit of room to see a, a bit of a deeper fall into these lower levels of, of support. And then we'll see what happens at that point. So um, looking at the daily again, Things do do appear to be getting suppressed to the downside, but ultimately it's going to have to break under this range before we really can start expecting a, a real clean or potentially fluid move lower. Until then, we continue to just trade up and down within this range. Moving over to the bottom middle chart we have us dollar canadian dollar and uh, again as you see we spoke about this in in our last episode we had a nice break to the downside we did get a retracement which resulted in a minor lower high being put in and we're starting to see additional weakness coming in so um, based on the weekly time frame this absolutely has room to continue moving lower we broke down right two weeks ago we broke down under this sideways range and there is room as i said to continue falling so the us dollar canadian dollar is one of the better looking pairs here for the potential to get some very clean fluid movement the daily trend is down the weekly has rolled over so all signs point to this continuing to weaken of course, we'll need to see this, this bottoming tail bar, this low right here, taken out. That low being about uh, 1.2086. Right, so we'll want to see that taken out. And if that can happen, we can then begin to expect better follow through to the downside. And finally, looking in the bottom left, we have pound US dollar. And this has had a very nice rally over the last you know, two and a half weeks or so. We've had a very nice move up. The move up took out some major resistance on the daily time frame. And as we look at the weekly chart, it has a little bit more room to rally higher. Now we are coming into the 21 EMA, and that could put a bit of a, a short-term halt to the advance. But overall, there is still some room to move higher, uh, and we'll see if that daily uptrend um, remains intact. Th there is a bit of confusion between time frames at this point because you've got a weekly which is in a downtrend and really could roll over uh, and, and begin to pull back at any point in time. But for right now, the daily trend is pushing higher, and uh, unless we really pull back deeply or break any key levels of support on the daily time frame, the pound U.S. dollar does appear as though it wants to continue rallying back up a bit more. So we'll see how things play out this week. If any updates are necessary, we will make sure to provide those to you. But overall, there, there really are no great swing opportunities other than U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar, which does have the appearance of wanting to move lower um, for for. The, the next couple days and then we'll see where things are at but uh, other than that like I said the majority of these other pairs appear to be better served trading the intraday trends so stay tuned stay patient stay disciplined and stay confident we'll talk soon look forward to the next video